guys? Welcome back to another episode of Get Out Fishing. I am with the man, RD, again, down at the coast. We just put in uh, about 30, 45 minutes ago at Oriental, and we are on the hunt for some bull red drum today. Not anything either one of us have caught in the past, but this is the time of the year for them down here uh, in the Pamlico Sound. And so we are uh, fixing to get after it here in just a second, see if we can get on them. Show you guys what we catch. Stay tuned. Good job, buddy. Oh. Yes, sir. Don't buy a hook. <laughs> Dip that thing like a bass. Let me get a picture. Get sure. We'll get that out in a minute. I sat and I was sitting there letting it sit there for me. There you go, man. I ain't never fished one like this because I ain't never brought the tow in order. Day one of this trip to the Pamlico Sound started out with some pretty high winds. We were able to make it across the sound into some, some creek channels. And we ended up fishing some of these back channels like you see here for most of the morning. Randall caught that one red drum. Fishing with a popping cork and we had a diesel minnow on the bottom or a shrimp on the bottom. We found out later that evening when we moved up to New Bern and we're fishing up there along the reeds that the red drum at that time were sitting right up on the reeds. We throw that popping cork in there, let it settle with that diesel minnow on the bottom and got several good hits that evening and Randall caught a few more that you'll see here in just a few minutes. Overall, we had a good time that night, but we didn't get any of the big red drum that we were looking for. However, got to see a beautiful sunset over New Bern and had a great day of fishing all the way around. Mm. There he goes. Did you get him? Man, I looked over just I looked over. He said hit it. Is it? Yeah, it is. All right, man. <laughs> That's all right. Right on the ground. Oh, I'm just taking. All right. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pop it about like two or three times. Uh huh. That's 
to another one. Let's see if I can get you a photo. Hold on one second. Oh, come on, buddy. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. What color are you using? Huh? So I'm using that electric chicken color. I would think that would work. This is good, don't you? Talking about like right here? What did we, did we hit something? Uh, yeah, I think I got. No, I don't neither. Golly. One under, huh? Yeah, I didn't feel it. Didn't feel it. Stacked on it. But he probably didn't get a hook, so maybe he'll hit again. He definitely went up. Definitely went all the way under, though. It looks like it. But it's like it's swimming up. Can't either. Weird. What is it? Does look like a blue fish. Try that maybe? It is a blue. So now he knows he's hurt, finally. Huh? Cut the line. No, we didn't either. There ain't no. Oh, he's still there. Randall, that's a big fish, dude. That's a big fish. That's a drum. That's a big red drum. He's gonna spool me. 
That's a drum, dude. You feel way he's running? Right now. Huh? Yeah, we're going. Yeah, that's not whatever it is out here. Probably. I don't think it's a drum. You don't? No. Maybe it's a skate. I don't know what it is. Or a big whatever it is. It's coming whatever it is. As soon as I picked it up, he took yeah. off running. That's a big fish, whatever it is. That was live bait on that one. It was it? Yeah. He's coming this way. Time for phone calls. Mm. He's big, yeah. I think it's a fish. Oh, I think it's a fish, fish. I don't think it's a drum. It could be. It's kind of like a coffin thing, man. It's hard to tell if I saw a tail or a fin. It's a fit. It feels like a fish. It don't feel like a skate. You know. Yeah, it's gonna be dead weight. Yeah, this is this fish is running and fighting. Like you feel the head shake. Yeah. I thought that was it. Kind of or it must be a fish. You got bait coming out of the water. Yeah, it's a fish. I think it's a red drum, dude. I think it's what we came for. Grab that other camera. See if you can turn it on. Hey, turn on top of it. Turn this one on right here. And just see if you hear it come on. I heard it come on. That's a skate. That's a skate, ain't it? No, it, no, it ain't neither. I don't know. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's a skate. Darn, that's a big skate, though. Gracious, son. Huh? I had on a river that I broke off. Mm-hmm. One time it was a red drum. It had the red drum be a big red drum. Goodness gracious. That's, that skate is healthy, I know that. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Stay right here with me. He's still pulling down, son. He ain't done yet. Goodness gracious. Yeah. 
running them out one more time. You ready? I don't think he's done yet. Still trying to turn it that way. Hey, getting it. Be, but my goodness gracious, that thing is huge, Randall. me out I know that that thing is huge <laughs> Good fight, guys. Wow. Somebody could have turned it off. Yeah. Cut the whole thing off. Sure. That thing weighs a ton, dude. What do you think that thing weighs? 40 pounds? More than that. Huh? More than that. 50, 60. Put this thing up there so it's out of our way. Goodness gracious. Things eating that, uh, wearing that hook out in them, though, ain't it? Yeah. He's free. Let me take a picture of him. That's just crazy, man. That thing is huge. Well, me and Randall fished hard for two days in the Pamlico Sound, but we never did get those bull red drum that we were after. This was definitely a bucket list trip for the both of us, and it's something that we hope to return to at some point and see if we can catch some of those old red drum. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, you might like and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take every opportunity you can to get out fishing.